you know, some of the things that we use on a regular basis is like, ew, where it comes from. Ew, their intestines. See, now we, we, we didn't want to look at it on that <laughs> side. We just want to know that it's already getting threaded. Right. Let's look right. at it like that. What's good, good y'all? It's, it's the Duma Shats React, and, and we're back, back with another video. video. Who we got today, see? Today we're back with another American reaction. Yes. Super excited about this video, guys. If you're new to us and, and we're new, new to you, you, make sure you scroll down, hit, hit that, that subscribe, subscribe button, button, and turn on the post notification bell because we're, we're on the road to 100K. And we cannot get there without you guys, all right? Join the family without further ado. Let's get into the video. Lotus silk is one of the rarest fabrics in the world. Produced only in small scale across Cambodia, Myanmar, and more recently Vietnam, this natural fiber is only extracted by a few skilled craftspeople across the world. But making this silk isn't easy. Extracting enough lotus silk for one scarf can take two months, and the final product can cost ten times as much as regular silk. So just how is it made? And what makes it so expensive? Now it makes me want to go Google lotus silk fabric. Mm -hmm. So see where they at. Like, I've never heard of lotus silk fabric. I know, me either. Sounds better than silk. <laughs> Regular silk? Well, I yeah. guess it is. It's expensive. That's probably why. <laughs> For real. <laughs> Fanti Thuan's family have been making silk for generations, growing and harvesting the threads from silkworms themselves to create luxury garments. But making lotus silk is different. Silk usually comes from silkworms. They're kept on wide trays and need to be fed almost 24 hours a day with mulberry leaves. The caterpillars delicately spin threads to create their cocoons, and it can take hundreds of silkworms to make a kilo of silk. But while the insects require careful looking after, they do most of the hard work themselves. The key difference between the bright yellow silk and the paler lotus version is that every single strand of lotus silk must be extracted by hand. Tơ sen thì nó khác với cái lụa tơ tằm. Là tơ sen thì mình phải rút sợi tơ nó là thân mộc. Mà sợi tơ tằm kia nó có cái phần cứng hơn cái sợi tơ sen là vì nó nhờ vào cái cái nực của con tằm nó qua một cái tuyến keo của nó nó rút từ ruột nó ra cái là nó có cái phần mềm mại mà có một chút co giãn. Còn tơ tằm thì nó bóng sang chắc. Glossy and luxurious. Um you know, some of the things that we use on a regular basis is like, ew, where it comes from. Ew, their intestines. See, now we, we, we didn't want to look at it on that <laughs> side. We just want to know that it's already getting threaded. Right, Let's look right. at it like that. Because yeah. sometimes it's just, that's just like with food. We don't want to know exactly how our food is being processed. And, no. You know what I'm saying? But, no. Because like, as soon as we... I guess that's from an American perspective because our foods are processed. Our foods, you know. How they manufacture it. People be like, yeah. oh, I ain't eating that again. Yeah, and that's uh, us. Yeah, and that's why that. we don't eat fast food like that. Because mm -hmm, <laughs> no. Mm -mm. Each thread of lotus silk starts with the stem of the lotus flower. The lotus is Vietnam's national flower and a plant that's grown across the country. While this fabric has been made for years in Myanmar, Fanti Tuan only started experimenting with this fiber in 2017. Với chúng tôi thì tất cả đất nước Việt Nam, nhân dân Việt Nam là ai cũng rất là quý cái bông hoa sen. Tất cả nước chúng tôi là rất là nhiều người trồng sen. Nhưng mà bao giờ cũng chỉ có thu hoa sen, thu hạt sen thôi. Còn cuống sen là vứt ra nó rất là bẩn. Khi mà người ta gợi ý cho tôi làm tơ sen thì tôi thấy có lợi cho nhân dân, cho nông dân thì tôi once the stem is selected and picked by hand, the silk inside can be extracted. Each stem contains a minuscule amount of thin, sticky fibers, which must be rolled together and dried. The threads need to be processed within 24 hours while they're still wet, wow. otherwise they'll break. And so harvesting has to be done each day. And the lotus plants are only available to harvest between April and October. Once you've gone through the hard work of extracting these fibers, they're incredibly Yo, delicate too. Look at the size of that thread. 
It's so tiny. And imagine the amount of work they have to put. Oh, by hand, man, by hand. I would have broke on the first day of work. <laughs> so how many of these I gotta do? We don't stop. We don't stop, bro. That's a lot. Bước đầu là tôi chưa nghĩ đến làm tơ sen thì tôi nghĩ là tơ sen thì nó mỏng manh mà làm thì nó rất nhiều công. Sợi tơ tằm thì nó dai hơn cho nên là có thể dệt được bằng máy, còn sợi tơ sen thì nó không có độ dai như sợi sợi tơ tằm cho nên là phải dệt bằng tay. Cái thời gian của cái việc lấy sợi là lâu nhất. Còn khi mà đã lấy được sợi rồi cho vào máy dệt rồi thì nó cũng nhanh hơn nhiều bởi vì tất cả bao nhiêu bao nhiêu công đoạn mới được lấy được sợi thì một người lao động làm một ngày được 200 đến 250 cuốn sen. Còn cái khăn rộng 36 cm, dài 1m75 wow. thì hết 9.200 cuốn sen. Thì một người phải làm một cái khăn đấy là phải mất 2 tháng mới được một cái khăn. Once dried, these threads are carefully weighed down and delicately hand spooled. Then they're put into the loom. These fibers are fragile, but once woven, can be as durable as traditional silk. Fan oh, has a team okay. of 20 workers creating these fibers You're each day. talking about the little corn? The corn is there to weigh it down. Yeah, it's a yeah, yeah, okay. It, it, I guess, I understand it, it's just, mm, corn, it's light. Allowing them to produce 10 to 20 scarves each month. But when a 25 centimeter scarf can sell for just over $200, the hard work is worth it. The yep. final product Thanks. is unlike any other fiber. <clears throat> it's soft like silk, breathable like linen, and slightly elastic. These luxurious traits have made it popular with tourists searching for rare souvenirs. It's also recently been picked up by international fashion brands searching for a new luxury fiber. But its scale has been limited, as there are still few trained in the making of these silk threads. But despite the work involved, Fan Thi Thuan is hoping that this skill could one day grow to become a larger industry. Tôi dạy rất là nhiều nhưng mà uh, dạy những người lớn tuổi cũng nhiều. Những người lớn tuổi họ sẽ không không có cái sự sáng tạo, không có đam mê mà không có cái làm thì nhanh bằng những thế hệ trẻ. Cho nên là hai năm năm 19, 20 này là tôi đã dùng các em học sinh trong những dịp nghỉ hè là tôi dạy các em ấy. Mỗi năm là dạy 100 em Thì là nhìn thấy cái thế hệ tương lai đấy nó mới phát triển được tơ sen cho chúng tôi Nhưng mà tôi chỉ mong là nhân dân Việt Nam và những thế hệ mai sau nó sẽ giỏi hơn chúng tôi thì Nó sẽ có những cái cách làm khác đi thì nó sẽ làm được nhiều hơn, nhanh hơn Amazing, yeah, amazing That's beautiful fabric I Beautiful, man how She's focused on the future generation and future of this industry. Yes. You know, I love that. That was some beautiful fabric when she showed the finished product. Yeah. That was beautiful. It does look soft. does look scratchy. It looks mm -hmm. A1. Beautiful. Yes. I love it. Yeah, definitely. We hope you guys enjoyed this video with us. Like this video. Subscribe. Turn on the post notification bell. We have enabled our super, super thanks. thanks if you like support the channel that way. As well as our join feature to become a VIP member of the channel. Send in your reaction requests through our description box below. We'll see you soon. Peace. Peace.